Welcome back guys, Thomas Dian Striking TV. So today we're going to talk about the jab. The jab is one of the first weapons we learn in every type of boxing, boxing, kickboxing, even MMA. So we're going to see different ways to do it. Um, just like anything else, there's different ways you can do each strike, depending on what you like, depending on the type of power you're looking for, depending on where your opponent is. So today we'll see a basic way, the most traditional way I want to say, and uh, we're going to go from there. So just like anything else, there are different ways you can throw a jab. Today we're going to see three different basic ways to, to throw a jab. There are some drills that I like to do with the kids and I'm going to share with you guys those type of drills. Once you get it done, you can start adding the footwork into it. You can do it stepping forward, stepping back, stepping on the side, rotating it at the same time. There are many ways you can do it as long as you understand the technique behind it. And just like every technique I make them learn, I like to make them practice on each other back and forth. So I will make a person go and the other person learn how to block or learn how to move. That's a very important part of the training. I think because uh, it also gets you ready for sparring, you know. A lot of people learn the attack, but they don't spend the same amount of time, if, if more, on the defense. So that's why I like to make all my students practice on each other each time just so they can practice both sides of, um, of the action. And just like every time, I like to finish with the game. But keep in mind guys, I'm not too serious with the games. It's more for the kids to have fun, so I'm not being too technical. For example, for this game, I like to make them with your hand, you're gonna to try to touch his shoulders and the other person move his shoulders. I'm not gonna to be too technical on the footwork and on the hands and the form and things like that, but I'm gonna ask them one thing. For example, try to keep your other hand up. Try to keep your other hand up to your chin at least, and then you can do whatever you want with the rest. Again, guys, there are many ways to do each techniques. I'm just showing you what works for me. You gotta understand what works for you and also what is the situation in front of you. Sometimes you're looking for power, sometimes you're looking for speed, sometimes the person is a little farther. So understand what works for you, make a choice and keep practicing. All right, guys, I hope you like the video. Make sure you share and subscribe. Give me your feedback, comments. See you guys soon.